Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for the 112 scale TQ63. This is made by Double Toys and designed by Quix. I pre-ordered this on the actual web store listed here, uh, Devil Toys web store, back in February of 2021 of this year. I know we're kind of towards the end. And uh, to my surprise, I got this, uh, I think on the 24th, right before Christmas. And I wasn't expecting any delivery since, well, you know, with the shipping issues uh, worldwide. But I got it. <laughs> it comes with this shipper box. I actually um, removed the contents already. It is big. Um, slightly smaller than the one six scale box. And I still keep the shipper box uh, means of uh, storing them away. Here we go. Um, actually, it was shipped like this. And I had to cut away the the postage here or my information but yeah this is the shipper box uh, for those who are curious all right inside we're gonna see the actual packaging and it still is wrapped i haven't opened this so i'm doing an unboxing <laughs> and my first impression with the packaging looks nice um it's a bit uh, simplistic, nothing too crazy, not a lot of colors, but uh, you know, with the black and white uh, motif with a bit of the gold here, it's nice. Uh, there is a lot of space uh, from what I can uh, see from the box here. Uh, we see the bike here and uh, we see uh, the actual figure right here. I see a hand there. We actually also added uh, one of those silica gel uh, pouches uh, to keep the moisture out and uh, let's do a spin here get more labeling there yep still sealed <laughs> and on the back and not much um, in terms of action poses or anything of like that uh, but we did see that uh, to the online so just a uh, kind of simple uh, packaging but it is quite big for what we're getting uh, it seems to be like a lot of space on the back there. All right, so inside, uh, I took out the insert. And uh, this is uh, makes a nice background if we're going to use it. Yeah, it says the name TQ63. And uh, with Quick's uh, signature, really nice. And uh, the figure, oh, the packaging. Let me just uh, put that in the camera here. It's right here, and there is quite a bit of space, uh, as I mentioned, but it's fine. Uh, that uh, ensures that you know, just in case something happens to the box, there's enough uh, cushion. Yeah. But there seems to be a lot more accessories on the back there. You got two hands there from what I can see. You got the two shoes here. Uh, what else? Where's the dog? Oh yeah, it's in the back there. Yep, you gotta have the dog. All right, so with the accessories, among aside from the have having the the shoes here. Yeah, so you get a, another pair of kicks, and your relaxed hands. The one uh, it's currently installed is the one for gripping, and. We have two sets of uh, dogs, along with the weapons. There's one that is uh, coated in metallic orange. I like orange. This is really nice. I also have the blade here. And just in comparison, uh, yeah, just painted uh, differently. I did find mine to <laughs> kind of popped open. I can super glue that back. But this one doesn't fold like the one six scale, so it's kind of fixed. Although I kind of wish that you can uh, detach this and just flip it around and then close it back in. You don't have to open this, but at least you can. There's a way for you to kind of stash it close. But otherwise, uh, they're gonna stay open. And uh, you also have. Some machine gun. Yep. Yeah, I think it says, uh, kind of hard to read what, uh, let's see if I can 
Is that the FPC or FFC? FPC, something like that. <laughs> I'm not sure what that stands for. Some kind of pistol, compact. Yep. And actually, let me do a side by side comparison with the two dogs. Yep, just a recolor. Uh, paint wise, not too bad. Although, construction wise, I see a bit of nubs, especially on the, the standard color. Yep. Now, for articulation. Articulation uh, on the ears, I don't think you can move this. You can wiggle a little bit, but it looks like it's glued in. I'm not going to try to force it. And you get the neck. You can uh, look down that much. Only a little bit of movement. Then you can uh, look forward. That's it. Now for the legs. You know, from the base, you have a peg joint that you can swivel around. Then you also have a hinge there. You can see that uh, like a rod there right in the middle. It's a bit limited. Uh, you can only bend it so much. You know, same thing on the back side. You can probably have him on a sitting post. It's a bit stiff. So kind of like that. <laughs> eh, good enough. So there is uh, a bit limited articulation, but for what you're displaying the dog with him uh, right next to him, it's, I think it's good enough. All right. And now we get the figure here. Now looking at the clothing, quite nice. There are functional uh, pockets. I do find the... Uh, the hood uh, string a little too long you know in comparison to a, a normal <laughs> uh, you probably can, can get away with half the length but that's how it, it came with get the hood here i don't think you can put it all the way because of how big that helmet is now also when i got out of the box you got this quite a bit of a neck gap and for the most part I think you're gonna be displaying him like this and kind of looking down a little bit to just cover that uh, the ball joint. Now this ball joint is swappable. Um, I tried to measure that. I don't have a caliper with me, but with a straight edge, about 4.5 millimeter ball joint. Maybe it could be a bit five inch. I'm oh, sorry, five millimeters. So definitely, if you have other figures, uh, you can probably do a swap. Or if they ever make uh, other versions of this, probably do, uh, yeah, more of those. And uh, let's see, on the clothing, you got the EQ63, on the, you got the skull and two blades on each uh, shoulder. On the back, you got the Condor Code 63, Filipinas, Street Plan. Yeah, then you got Quick's uh, logo there. You do have this chain here. Uh, I think it's just uh, stitched onto the back of the of the pants and going to the front. Yep. This is a functional zipper. Uh, the zipper is actually connected uh, sideways, which is kind of interesting. It goes all the way down. Uh, you can re uh, detach or split the end as you normally with a sweater you just have to slide that out there we go and you got the bullet punk shirt i was also curious you know how the joints are on the figure itself so i'm just gonna slide uh, this so you see a double jointed elbow there you get a bicep swivel i think we'll, we'll just leave it there so fairly good, fairly good articulation. Although I, I gotta have to play around with it. This shoulder sasha kinda, kinda have that ratcheting. Huh, okay, it's kinda like a, has that uh, hinge. Yep. 
chest. You can handle a chest out, chest in. Yeah, interesting. Now you got the wrist joint. Huh, there's a screw there. That's a interesting way of making a forearm. That's probably, uh, oh, I see. It's probably how they uh, have this. I don't see any spare wrist joint or any joints for that matter. Um, I, sometimes, I can't remember if they have that on the 1-6 scale. I have to double check. It's been a while. So to re swap this out, <laughs> I'm about to say replace. To swap them out, you kind of just kind of wiggle it out and pop it out. It is another bull joint. A bit smaller than the neck. Then uh, let's swap it with this one. And it's always the fun part. Gonna wiggle it around till it goes in. There we go. Now I have to move the sleeve up here to kind of give myself a grip because if you're holding the sleeve here, it's very slippery. Then when you're putting a uh, a hand back you may want to do a, a turn the elbow so it gives you a, something to push back in and that's gonna be a similar case with the uh, shoe here which we'll get there in a bit so we'll just do a one swap there you got your let's see how the oh it even has a belly button you get the chest really good range oh yeah you could really lean back for that <laughs> into bullet time anyone seen the matrix lately eh, it, it wasn't bad although it's kind of in the middle wasn't that great but wasn't that bad either all right so moving on getting back to the review got your knee bend here it feels like it is double jointed. Yep, it is double jointed. Yep, and definitely if I want to pose him uh, doing a a high kick, uh, I will probably need an action base. It does it doesn't come in an action base, but you can uh, probably use the Tamashi stage jack from Bandai. Yep, Raido kick. <laughs> Uh, more pockets here. Uh, they are functional also. And also from the paint app, you kind of see that uh, they added because here you don't. It's kind of like uh, this side here is dirty than that side. So they added something onto the cloth uh, to kind of give it a little bit more like worn look. Yep. Then you got your ankle articulation. It, it's another ball joint here. Now to swap uh, swap that, again, you want to roll that uh, pants up so you have a bit of a firmer grip. Then you kind of wiggle that, pop that off, and put this on. And again, probably better to bend that knee. That way you have something to push. And you got to do the wiggle. <laughs> and there you go. Uh, just a... Uh, Swap it out. This one uh, is a bit of a high cut uh, compared uh, to this. Is that the term for shoes? High cut and then you got just the uh, normal sneakers. Yep. Even uh, what uh, kind of give that little wash on the bottom so you can see the lines, which is which is nice. I like that. All right, and that's pretty much it for the articulation on this figure. Overall. Uh, for a one twelve scale, it's great. Uh, double jointed uh, knees, elbows, good, uh, good range. Uh, yep, really nice. All right, then uh, let's uh, fix some of the weapons on him. Uh, on the one six scale, I am always having a problem uh, holding this, you know, because of the gap. Actually, on this one, it's not too bad, but still kind of. A bit awkward on how it goes so you just gotta have to slide it onto the fingers it is a bit flexible so there's a there's a lot more give which is nice there you go and it will be holding it in such an angle i guess you can go over in between that gap but i'm afraid that i might break this so 
Let's see if I can gra have him grab it again. Yep. Is holding a Bali Song sword. <laughs> then for the gun on that other side, they should just slide in. There we go. Got your range and your melee. There we go. Let's see. Um, let's see if I can have him stand here. There we go. And a trusty companion. All right, next up is the bike. Now, this bike is amazing. Looks really cool, and uh, especially this one. You can see the changing color, much like uh, when you hit metal. And the blue being the hottest. So this is actually fairly accurate, and well, to a certain extent. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really nice. Uh, it's kind of weird though, like this one, it's, I kind of wish it was a little bit more slanted, but then again, that's the seat, so he's gonna be like really leaning down. Yep, um, it does have some weathered uh, look to it. It has a movable wheel, not you know, it doesn't spin that well, especially the back side. It does turn a little bit, but um, it's, I think it's hitting the top side, so not a lot of movement there. Now, you do have uh, foot pedals here. Uh, you can uh, turn them. This left side is a bit stiff, but yeah. The other problem too is this one though. I mean, you can tilt it a little bit, but it hits the foot pedal. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you lower it all the way down, you'll find that it is limited on the hinge there. So it can only tilt a little bit. Which, which you know it is what it is then you got your handles here you can go all the way down up you got your console there there are some uh, shocks here but that is not it doesn't work so it's just uh, for decoration yep and it's all right it's kind of it's not really centered. <laughs> On the bottom, there is a, a battery uh, which is not included. Uh, so it, it was one of those kind of interesting... Uh, since I do buy batteries from time to time, especially for figures, but they never last long. Their shelf life is kind of limited and if... You normally don't want to keep the battery inside the figure. You take them out, but once you take them out of packaging, and also, again, there is a shelf life. Um, after a while, you try to use the batteries, they're no longer good. Uh, this one requires two AG13, and each one is 1.5 volts. I don't have AG13, I have AG12. So I, I actually removed the screw. So, the, the AG12 is thinner. It could work. I saw under 1.5 uh, 1.5 volts. Um, I do have AG13s, but they're out. <laughs> no, no power in them, and I had to kind of finagle a paperclip uh, to bridge the gap. So we turn this on. You see the LED turn on there. I'll put this back. There is also a kickstand while we're looking down here, and it does work. It should work. <laughs> there we go. So otherwise, if you don't have that, it's gonna, yeah. Oh, of course, if you have the figure, you can maybe keep to the side uh, to keep it upright. All right, so for, let's see, turn this on again. See the lights there, lights up the console, and also lights up the backlight here. Let's see if I can uh, turn off. Yep. So. Yeah, it's uh, not too bad. Actually, it's kind of weird now. 
know, getting back to that battery. Because uh, I'm pretty sure the, the when I connected it, um, so the positive side is on here, negatives on top. But the, the contact point on top, even though I've actually kind of pulled this tab here to bridge the gap, it's not turning on, but when I put in a paper clip onto the side, it turns on. So that's why I have kind of have like a little spring there made of paper clip. So the end of that contact, the, it's like a cone shape. The very tip, it, there might be some kind of coating, but it's not making the connection. So if you have this figure and you're wondering what's wrong, you put in EG13 and they, they're they new and it doesn't work. Um, that's probably the case. So uh, you might have to put like uh, kind of like a circle thing to make the connection. Yeah, for some reason, just the, the tip, it, it doesn't work. Yeah. Anyways, um, I think that's it for the, in terms of uh, checking out the deed. Oh, actually, no, hold on. We're not, we're not done yet. Sorry about that. <laughs> now, in terms of uh, the, the, the vi um, I guess the, not really the windshield. You can see the connections there for the LED. And uh, this side is actually a little smoky. Uh, they might be, they might have used some kind of ad adhesive. But the problem with adhesive, um, they kind of smear or um, fog up uh, the plastic. So this side is clear, but this one, it's a little hazy. No, not a big deal. So, you know, from afar, you're not going to be able to tell that there's uh, the LED inside. Yeah, like from this far, I mean, from this distance. But if you held it up close, you'll see it. Uh, plastic is quite nice. I mean, you got the the decals there. Quicks. EQ63. You got the skull. I mean, you got some metallic painting here. Yeah, it's overall it's really nice. All right, fun part. Let's try to put the EQ63 into this bike. All right, so this part, you have to bear with me. <laughs> I tried putting him on first time. It wasn't too bad, but you kind of just uh, slide him here, uh, bend the uh, hips, uh, but maybe, yeah, the foot. So this one, you kind of want to just angle it a little bit. There we go. Uh, maybe we have to bend the uh, knee a little bit more. And it's always the... It's kind of tricky to do this behind the camera. <laughs> I always complain like, ah. Yeah, this is definitely something that, yeah, you want to take your time uh, putting on, especially with the, you know, the, the, uh, the joints. <laughs> All right, it's just me rambling. I always do this when I'm trying to get something on the reviews. All right, so I think, let me see the other side here. Okay, so the other side. There we go, yeah, good enough, all right. Okay, so we're gonna grab the top part. So yeah, yeah, there you go. Because this is your brakes, or maybe the clutch. I don't ride motorcycles. <laughs> but if it's like a bicycle, which I know how to use, uh, that's my guess. But sometimes one is for brakes, the other one's for clutch. All right, so it's kind of like leaning back. You could probably go a little further down, but I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. Yeah, that is awesome. Really nice. And I kind of wish, you got your dog here. I mean, does he just kind of stay here or something? Or maybe up here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Or, or maybe here. Oh, there we go. That works too. 
but yeah you got this i wonder if uh the dog transforms and uh kind of just uh stash himself somewhere in the bike all right i have the backdrop uh, back and i turn on the leds yeah really nice In a size comparison with a fellow 112 scale, SH Figure Arts Captain America. Yep, uh, about the same height. Yep, it works really well. And that's with the 16 scale. Yep. <laughs> Let me adjust the camera. All right, here we go. Yep, it's a big difference. And I think they're about the same price when I got them close to MSRP although 112 scale here uh, I got it about 220 when I pre-order obviously it's gonna be different now since uh, it's out of sold out out of print unless they make more but it's about 220 shipping was uh, included so just 220 uh, this one I can't remember how much I paid for it but I think it's gonna be around $200 uh, for the one six and just look at the difference in detail <laughs> even the dog it just like half the size yeah and also the the weapon now um, so this is what well, comes with a bigger version this one you can actually rotate and you know, as if uh you have a butterfly knife or a bali song and uh, you also have a a way to lock it in place i'm not gonna do it since the joint is a little stiff but yeah look at that it's kind of like um i mean it, it does flip over which is nice so you got a small version yeah now my final thoughts on uh, this figure uh, obviously it's a lot smaller uh with and with included bike and the bike is really nice and i think this probably constitutes half the price point of this uh just you know how much you're getting uh in terms of i guess the plastic or the figure yeah, this is a lot uh, compared to the figure alone but comparing the two um if i have to pick what scale i want uh to collect I'll probably still stick with the 1.6. I think the 1.6 just gives a, a bigger overall shelf presence. And just the details, uh, I like it a lot more than the 112. Uh, but again, it depends on how you're collecting them. Or maybe you want to post them with other figures you have. Uh, this one is a lot easier to find other figures to pose with as opposed to this uh, one six scale. I um, only have a handful of one six. Uh, I have like an Iron Man that is uh, Hot Toys, but other than that, um, I do have Play Arts, but they're not that size. So, in a way, uh, having the one tall scale is a bit more accessible in terms of posing, taking pictures, um, and it will fit. Your collection um, whichever you want to display it with all right that's pretty much it for the review hope you guys like it uh, if you got any questions let me know so until then this is means thanks for watching